Hi, how's it going? My name is Joshua. Like this video, share this video with someone you love and someone you don't love. Comment below and let me know how ridiculous this background is. I've been using the same background, I think, for like, I don't know, four months, and I'm just tired of it, and I got this green screen, and blah, 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 so I just picked a bunch of different ones. Last year, I went to Hawaii, I bought a Hawaiian shirt, and I'm like, it felt so awesome. I'm like, why can't I wear this shirt every day? I would wear this in every video, or one of the sh these shirts in every video, but it's green, the majority of them, and it doesn't show up on the green screen. All right, that looks super emo. I'll just stick with this one. If you have any suggestions, let me know. In the last three months, I've been really seeking the Lord. Fasting, praying, reading books, meditating on scripture, all kinds of stuff. Because I felt like a transition was happening in the different parts of my life. Of being a cop, being at Christ for the Nations, learning how to be a videographer, going to Alaska, coming back from Alaska. There's always something like rises up in me. And I'm like, okay, I feel like... I need to pray. And the last three months, fasting, praying, searching, seeking, knocking, position. Um, I've had like eight dreams of this transition. And once the transition is completed last Sunday, I have this peace. And so my wife and I are stepping away from ministry. Well, technically, if you're a Christian, you should have a ministry to your family and friends and coworkers or telling them the gospel. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. Being a minister employed by a church. The last two and a half years with this church has been incredible. I've had like the most amazing memories with these group of people, amazing people of faith. It's been absolute a joy. And I'm so blessed to have been a part of this journey with them. And so the next step is trust in the Lord. I think I told this before of um, reading this book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. Like, man, if you are not a book person, Get the audio book. I'm not the biggest book guy ever, but I shredded this book. And this has like two, almost 300 pages. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It is so easy to read this book. The guy is super funny. And basically after reading this book, all of my hurry, oh, I want to preach to thousands of people. I want to make movies now. I want to you know, take the easy way out and make these crazy YouTube videos and have people watch my videos. And, and I'm, like I said in the last video, I'm done with that. And so whatever God wants to do, the, all that stuff that he's put in my heart to make Christian movies, to, to plant 222 churches, to build Christian cities, to all this amazing stuff. I'm like, well, Lord, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, well, what do I do? I, I refuse to think about it. The major things in my life is 100% getting as close to God as I can and being the best husband and father to my kids and to my wife, husband to my wife and father to my kids. I, but I took off Facebook, Instagram, TikTok off my phone, and I pray that I don't have to go through the, jo the Joseph route of waiting 22 years to see my dream. I mean, Joseph got a dream told his brothers and his fathers, like, hey, I had a dream that you guys, like, bowed down to me. And I was, like, over you guys. So the brothers were like, okay, homeboy. They sold Joseph into slavery to the Potiphar. Potiphar's wife tried to sleep with him. Joseph did the right thing and ran away. And Potiphar's wife still, like, told on him and said, oh, he was trying to sleep with me. And they put him in prison. He's in prison. Two other people... He interprets the dreams, and then one of them's freed. One of them was like the baker and the pizza man, or I don't remember. One of them dies, and one of them gets to go into the Pharaoh's courts, and Joseph's like, dude, don't forget me, man. Well, they forgot him. And so 22 years later, Pharaoh has these wicked dreams, and the guy that forgot about, sorry, my kids were yelling, the guy that forgot about Joseph's like, oh, yeah, homeboy in jail. He could totally interpret your dreams. So they bring Joseph, he interprets the dreams, and boom, they, Pharaoh makes Joseph second in command. So I'm like, God, don't be like 22 years, but, oh man, it's like, do we really trust Jesus? All these things being downloading to me, and the like the eight different dreams in three months that I've had, and the, the pulling, and all of this stuff. It's like, do I really trust Jesus? But the point is, I've come a long way in three months of taking the social media off my phone and trying to set like grounds like okay at this time I'm going to be off my phone I think I'm going to do another video 
where I'm just going to, it's just going to be me and my Bible and I'm not even going to have my phone on me. So this video is kind of random. It's just basically information of what's happening now. And, and the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> it's just full on trust in Jesus that he'll, he'll come through of what he spoke to us, spoke to me and my wife about. So yeah, um, let me know if I could pray for you. You're like, dude, I don't know if I want you to pray for me. You know? <laughs> but man, Jesus loves you, man. And I know it's like, oh, Jesus loves me, this I know, but he does love you. And this whole journey I've been on since I left being a cop of like seven years and some change has been the craziest adventure of my life. And now stepping into this, this territory of the unknown is super peaceful. And it's crazy. I'm thinking with you in real time, like, man, what is God about to do? I hope this encourages you. If you need prayer, let me know. Remember that God has made you to be the head and not the tail above only, never beneath, first, not last, a victor, not a victim. He causes the mountains and the hills to break forth and the sea, eat of the trees, the field to clap their hands as the people of God go forward with joy. In the matchless name of Jesus, amen.